Sylvie here. Today we're going to do a pick a card reading and the question is what spirit guide wants you to know about what you're secretly wanting. All right so before we get to it if you like uh, to support my channel press that like subscribe share the link leave comments it's all good and um, it's really appreciated thank you. Also there's timestamps down below just uh, choose your group enjoy your reading um, when it comes to choosing your group, take your time, pause that video, take a nice deep breath, relax, and just go with what, uh, you know, pulls you towards, or if it's the color, the stone, you know. All right, so I'll see you there. Okay, group one, let's see what's going on. Oh, we have some little stones here. Um, yeah, so let's find out what's going on. Let's, uh, see these cards right here. Is, it's, um, about your wish what you want so sorry i turned that around um mm, there's been something going on that uh, you've been wanting really badly or you've been asking for it and it seems like uh there's something new like in what you've been wanting and asking for it's almost like you're switching it up you're you're um it's like you, you, that's what you think you want but there's something else that you're asking for. So uh, it's either how you're at, you, what you're saying in your day or what you're doing or what your thoughts are sometimes running towards something else because it seems like you're shifting. So we'll find out more about it. We'll find out more about it. This is your guide, by the way. This is who I chose for your guide. You see them? <laughs> All right. So what is going on? Okay. So you've been wanting, yes, you've been, you've been wanting to choose or not to choose, really um, being direct and uh, you've been wanting something in, in particular, I should say, because car was reversed. So, and you've been thinking about it a lot and you, and sometimes you go in your, your space or your, your um, quiet um, time in your mind and sitting there wondering and thinking how to go about it, what what it is, exactly it is that you've been wanting, and and how you've been wanting it, and um, how it's going to work out, plan it like it's really in depth, and and um, you you've, you've stayed on that for a long time, so this is you've been really like stubborn on this idea and this want, and anyway it's switching it's turning around um it's almost like you're realizing that you're not going to obtain that or you're not or it's not going to happen or you don't see how it's going to happen or it's been too long and you give up something like that but in reality there's there's another wish or a wish is coming out of this that's going to even be better and so now things are shifting and 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 you're going to you're going to see that working against the flow does is is not um, bringing you anywhere. So uh, what's coming up then? And when? So when are you going to know this new dream or this new want or 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 you're shifting to your new your new wishes? That's answering you, by the way, what you're asking right this minute. Hmm. It's not going to answer us, so I'm going to pull this out. Sometimes it's strange how it works out. So what it's saying, yeah, you, um, you've been um, pretty uh, closed up and pretty, um, you're like, no, this is not going to happen. This is not what I want. But in reality, you're going to, you, you're going to be very successful in, um, and you're going to receive the support and you're going to be able to take that and run with it. And it says, once you do everything will flow. So, um, yeah, you're fighting against, uh, um, what the universe wants to give you. You're, you're constantly like going back to, to your original thoughts and you've been thinking this is the way. And the universe is saying, no, 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 let's don't go that way. Go this way because it's so much better. And yet you fight it. Now it's going to answer me. Hmm. 
Oh, you see, you're going to be, you're going to rush right in. and Yeah. Once you understand um, to let things happen, to, to not be so stubborn, things are going to flow in. Things are going to flow in. Oh, look at that, the lovers. <laughs> well, it's your, it's, it's. It could be your self-love, your self-worth, or actual lover, or uh, loving what you're going to obtain. But either way, this is uh, you succeeding and managing it. Um, and you, you rush in with that uh, feeling, that new intuition, the new, the new uh, opportunity that, that comes up. And you realize, wow, that is something that I would want. So, um, yeah. Okay, group two, let's see what's going on. So uh, the question is uh, what your spiritual guide wants you to know about your secret wantings, right? And well, here's your guide. He's a handsome girl guy, a handsome fellow. <laughs> it's all about wisdom and kindness. So let's find out more. Um, at the moment, it says, yeah, your dream is possible. Your dream is wide open, like, like, there it is. There's your dream. And it's just, you're just, um, singing of happiness or playing the music or the, you know, the tune is, the flow is going, uh, messages are rolling in, uh, you're being guided. So it's definitely coming in. The world's opening up for you and you're understanding what to do and how to put it together. So, uh, yes, your dream is absolutely possible. Your, your secret wantings is, I call it a dream because of, of the page, the, the, the card, but it's definitely all your ideas and your wants are there. Your thoughts, your thoughts are, are actually really positive and good. So, um, yeah, I want to know what, what's, what's been going on. Like, uh, why you haven't obtained it yet or what's, why is it taking so long? You know, what, the, or something else let's find out what they have to say and there's just the tower moment I sort of felt there was something going on there was something that slowed it down mm. it's like well you know what it's something happened and um there's something that happened in your life there's you had a I, I call it a, a life uh, defining moment, defining moment. You know, it's um, it happened to you. You had a, like a a, mo a wow or yeah or you know a moment like that's exactly, and it's sort of like you your eyes opened up or your mind opened up to to something, and you realize that that's what you want. Finally, found your path, your 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 something you want for yourself. It doesn't have to be really a deep uh, um, want. If if it's not, it can be light, but it's something that you realize that you want for yourself, right? And um, yeah, now it's flowing in, like because you understood something, and you understood that you need to do something for yourself, or if it's a life purpose, then you found it. You know, it depends on the level of, of what you've been wanting, right? So, uh, when are you get receiving your wish? When are you receiving your wish? Oh, that's pretty clear. So, um, yeah, it was happening. And you're going to you're gonna be some surprise, but it's going to start a whole new uh, way of being like your your wish when you're going to have your wish soon right and but when you have your wish it's going to be um um starting another whole page in your life like i mean you're not going to stay there that wish opens up so many doors for you and you're going to see that you're going to love your life you're going to love your, what you're what you're set for yourself so whether it's something private and personal for yourself you're just going to love it and if it's something like a bigger gift a life purpose or some sort because i feel like i feel like there's different levels here like uh, it could be just something that you want to enjoy and you've been wanting something for yourself right that i feel that and then but i also feel for some that that that's some a life purpose too or maybe it's both you know but it's definitely happening very soon. 
And when I, I say soon, it depends how fast you feel that that's going that wish is obtained, and I'll go with that time frame, because fast could be for someone uh, months, and, and so fast for someone could be years. It just depends how big this this want is, right? But it's definitely um, as soon as you think you can have it, it will happen. Okay, group three, let's see what's going on. Oh, there's your there's your guide. I'll show her. Yeah, that's yours. <laughs> She's what is she going to say to you? Let's find out. Um, well, to obtain your, your wish or your your want, secretly your secret wantings, I should say, is yes, it's absolutely happening. It's gonna make you very happy. So um I'm not sure if you're if you're asking for a certain love and you want this love or this person to be uh with you or you're wishing that your relationship was really close. I'm not sure if that's what you're asking because I feel like there, that some of that is there. But it could also be you want to be very happy. Um, but I feel like it's for with someone else. But anyway, it's uh, definitely your wants are, is happening. And it's happening in a way that um, it's up to you to make it happen. You're the one that has to put the effort into it. And also follow your intuition. You know, but uh, your wish is absolutely obtainable. Your wants are absolutely obtainable. Let's find out more. I have the deck right here. So, uh, what's what brought you to this point? Let's find out a little bit about that, or you know, what have you been doing that's setting this up for you? Oh, I'll leave that here. It's the way you choose what you've chosen. Let me see what else is there. Mm. Oh, there's two. So it's um, understanding, understanding uh, what it takes, to, what it, what it is that you want. Understanding it because you've been confused for a while. You've been not clear on it, and so you have to. You had to be very specific in 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 asking the universe or putting your thoughts out there and your wants out there or really understanding what you want and it is the understanding card you you had to understand exactly and once you you thought about it and and cleared that up then the universe says yeah sure you can have it you know so you have to be clear so stay clear on it too you know it's definitely obtainable but like I said, you have to make the moves yourself. So where is this headed, this dream? What's what's the potential outcome of this? Because you know things can always change. But what is the potential outcome on this? Oops, too many cards. They want to speak anyway. That's good. I just have to. They just. Uh, trying to bring the card out <laughs> ah, yeah okay let's let's uh whoa okay mm, so uh what this is gonna have what this is gonna be is choices it's gonna bring you a lot of choices a lot of choices when it comes to your passion and your wants and here we have uh, um, supporting your, your your new way of feeling or your way of feeling and having them support it too. So it's a, it's a choice. It's a choice on how you're going to be in this in this relationship or in this wanting. So I really feel like for some, this is a relationship that you've been wanting to have in a certain way. And, and if there was like baggages, I mean like bad feelings or, or bad times or something happened that was just not right or or things aren't working as, as planned and you want them to, to be better, then this if this is the wish that things feel good, then they will. It's, it's going to definitely uh, be there, right? But again, it's movement, it's wanting, it's doing. Uh, you, you, it's p having the proaction on it 
and then um, keeping up with the ideas of how to keep that going. So it's not just going to be like, um, oh, I'm finally on the right track and then I'm, I'm done. No, you have to always uh, uh, keep that momentum going to, for this wish to keep going, you know. So and if it isn't about someone else or you wanting to be uh, feeling good with someone else and it's not a relationship and it's for yourself, then it's a relationship with yourself. You're, you know, something that you've been wanting for yourself. But it's ongoing. It doesn't stop just here. <laughs> All right. Group four. Let's see what's going on here. Um, oh, here's your guide, the thinker. It's your guide. So uh, what is there? What is it that they want to say? They want to say that uh, you've been wanting something and it seems like it's not really, um, um, well, it is attainable. It is attainable. It just doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel like it's ever going to happen. And it will feel like that for a while. Um, things are still um, just uh, starting to be uh, um, settled or just starting uh, to change for you. Uh, life has been hard. And um, it's definitely um, your wish is there. You know what you want. And even though life's been hard, you, you, you stay positive. You still, you stay like you want it. You want something. And, but it, it feels like it's never going to happen. But in reality, it can happen. It's just that you're not seeing it properly or you're not seeing it clearly or you're not believing that you can. So there's something blocking you or stopping you. So let's find out about that and clear that out for you so you can obtain your wish. Well, I'm gonna go right here. What's been going on? Why? Mm, I, I'm start. I am starting to pick that up. I'm gonna tell you in a, in a minute. In a second here, let me pick a few more cards. We have a few more cards. No. Okay. I'll pull some more in a minute. So, uh, what the, the your spirit guide is trying to tell you is that. Um, Things have been blocked for you because you haven't been kind to yourself. You haven't been kind. Um, there's so much good in you and so much uh, good in, in what you want. And your life has been hard and blocking things. And it's sort of like going against the flow or you, you're, you're, you're headed in the right direction. And then you, you, you kind of um, go the opposite direction. You're not steady. You're not, you always um, going for your goal or going for your wants or sometimes things get in the way. Um, uh, but the, the major thing is that, um, the, your self-worth, respect, your, 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 your needs, be kind to yourself. You're deserving. And, um, there's a lot of issues there that you need to work out and that, and that's what's been going on, but that's changing. It's just saying that that's what was going on. So what else do we have to say? Oh, right there we are. Yeah, you've been you've been doing very well. This is this is your past. This is how you, you were. Hmm. Anything else? Whoa. So um, yeah. So that's how you were, but then then you started to change. You started to accept yourself. You started to love yourself. You started to understand how how uh, you need to celebrate your life or your and and go for what you want and see and and you and you succeeded that. So you changed things around. You 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 removed the what was blocking you, your ideas. So you you're understanding that now you're worth it. But you're still not totally 100% convinced. Even though you're doing so much better. You have to convince yourself that it's attainable. It's doable. It can happen. Oh, see? Happiness right there. It's not that far away either, by the way. It's it can happen pretty pretty fast, and you know you just have to uh, believe in in what you want because the happiness is there, and you're you're going to be like full, like having it hundred percent, but even better than you expect. Um, the abundance is there, so whatever you're asking for or wanting, or it's it's uh, happening in a big way, in a bigger than you expect. 
and happier and everything. And the thing is, uh, once you have it, hold on to hold on to it and to hold on to it is to protect what you have. So don't let that go again. Like, um, uh, if it's a, if it's personally, uh, personal to you, hold on to it, you know, but it, it doesn't say that, um, you, someone will take it away or anything like that. No, but it says that, you, you know, if that's what you value and that's what you want, hold on to it. Don't let anybody take that away from you or, or make you believe you don't deserve it. Okay. Group five. Now I have some, before I, I, um, show you this card, this is your spiritual guide. And I debated whether I was going to read this, uh, gr this, uh, group because I wasn't sure about the card, but so I pulled out three and I did, I did kind of peek because I want, I did, wasn't sure. Um, and, and the reason I looked is because, um, I was having a hard time and the feeling of the deck and how it was going. Right. So I want to set this up for you. So you're, you're not disappointed and you, and you, um, um, will take a moment to listen, you know? So the, here's your, your spiritual guide. And it, it has to do with, um, your, your anger or disappointments or it, it's not as serious as that here, but it, it definitely has to do on the negative side, the shadow side, not being happy and wanting some type of, um, of, uh, justice for what's been happening around you. You're sort of angry at people or situations. And the reason I, 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 I followed through on it on, because I pulled these three and I did look at them I, and, and it is positive. So I did choose to read it. So, um, yes, it's all about what you believe and how you believe and your, your wants and wishes are possible, but how you handle it is important. You, you can handle your anger in a negative way or a positive way. They're both there for you. So, um, you can definitely happen. You can, you can create your, your, uh, your secret wantings and how you want it. Right. And, but you have to believe that how you choose is how it's going to happen. And it, and I really feel that it can be very positive, um, in the sense that, um, this, if, um, uh, if, uh, you deserve something or you, you want, uh, your justice, and your fairness and your, what you, you believe you, you earned. Well, if you do it in a positive way, I really feel like, um, it's, it's going to be just as satisfying as if you stay negative, you know? So, um, before I go into what happened in the past, I'm going to go, what is, um, potential outcome when it, when you choose the positive side on how to handle this toward versus the negative side and you know oops well there's your positive side and see how they want to speak okay and a negative side so in the positive side if you want to handle this in a positive way like like um forgiving forgiving uh what happened to you and moving on and then um going about uh what you want what you secretly want it will release the stress it will release your stress and then you'll have a new dream you'll free yourself up for a new beginning and a healthy beginning and a healthy positive thinking life will become very positive for you and you, you will heal from this and you will have a better and wonderful life. So what it's saying is let go of your anger and, and, and then go for your dreams. You'll see that, um, it'll change your, your way, your, your, your life, you know? And if you take this in the anger way, like I'm, I'm going to do this. Yeah, sure. You, you can get your revenge or, 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 um, show them that, you know, you, uh, what they did, like in their face, you can do that and you can do it confidently. Um, yeah, they deserve it. They deserve, they deserve this. I mean, they deserve to be told and, and you can be a little harsh if you want. Right. And you can absolutely have a very good, uh, um, way of uh, wording it and saying it. Right. But it's, it's letting them know what they, they happen. Right. And then, and then, uh, you can choose to, to, um, 
do something else because then you'll complete your goal. You'll, you'll be satisfied by telling them, right? So you have two ways you can go about it. You can, you can just forget it, forgive them, move on, and your life will be so positive and, and fulfilling and, and uh, you'll have a good way. Either one. And if you do tell them the way you feel, then uh, you'll just be, feel satisfied right? But it's not going to change anything in, in how you're living. It's going to continue the same. It, by forgiving um, and letting that go, um, you'll move on and, and to greater and better things, you know? And um, yeah, so I don't know why this reading come up and you're secretly wanting, but um, it's almost like someone hurt you badly and you you wish that they would pay for it. That's what I'm getting out of this reading. And if it's not for you, then then maybe it's the wrong pile. <laughs> like, you know, choose another group because it might not be. It might be, you know, but this life is harsh sometimes. Yeah, um, you've been thinking about it. It's on your mind a lot. And, and, and you have a hard time letting go or, or dealing with it. And it's constantly on your mind. But your intuition says you must act. You must do something about it. And it's true. Don't Don't let that fester. You know, you need to do something about it. But how you choose to go about it is, is, is completely up to you. 